Hello, and welcome to the Quick Flick Critic Reviews and Interviews. I'm your host, John Smithstad, and these are my takes on films both new and not so, spanning a wide range of genres and tastes, plus conversations with some of the coolest people in indie entertainment. Now, let us rock with this one, shall we? Uh, my guest on this episode of the Quick Flick Critic Reviews and Interviews is a first-time film director, feature film director, also wrote the story. The film is Boy From no Nowhere. The filmmaker is S.J. Finlay. Uh, S.J., first of all, thank you for joining us on the Quick Flick Critic Reviews and Interviews. So happy to be here. Thanks for having me, John. Absolutely. First of all, we'll start with, with the film, which I have seen. It's a fine film. Um, what What's the film about? I obviously know, but, but give our viewers uh, an, an idea of what your film is about and, and the story that we're going to see unfold uh, when we watch Boy From Nowhere. Yeah, well, thanks for asking. First, I would just give a little bit of context to the film and to the Philippines. We all know Filipinos. We've all got that one Filipino friend at work or somewhere. and But we know very little about their country and about the stories that are happening inside their country. Um, and, and one of the stories is, well, first I'll tell you, I got my start in filmmaking by doing documentaries around the world for various charities, uh, non-governmental organizations like World Vision. And I've been shooting in Nepal and shooting in Liberia and Greenland, other countries in Africa, all over Southeast Asia. Um, and a few years ago, I was in the Philippines doing some filming for a charity that works with refugees. And they were like, they sent me to the South and I had a, uh, a military escort uh, because they were worried I might get kidnapped. Good Lord, <laughs> and I went man. to this city called Zamboanga that had just been laid siege to by the uh, a nearby rebel group that had tried to take over the city and had taken hostages. It was just crazy. So wow. I found out that there were yeah. So I found out that there were child soldiers uh, with this rebel group, yeah. and I learned about their plight. Um, that they were fighting on behalf of local tribal peoples that felt like the government was taking advantage of them and just taking their land from them. And so I had this idea to return and do a short film, which ended up becoming the feature film, Boy From Nowhere, where I was able to piece together some of the different stories and scenes and plights that I noticed uh, from different groups in the Philippines, from the fishing villages that I visited to the inner city gangs and people doing rehabilitation with gangsters, to farmers, to the rebel groups themselves, uh, and kind of place them in different spots along Gary's journey. Gary being our young uh, boy who we're following through the film. And his, yeah. his story is sort of reminiscent of a few different stories. He was a street kid, uh, or not a street kid, but he was living in the slums. Um, and he just really was natural on camera. A lot of the kids that I tried out were too nervous or their English wasn't good enough to take direction yeah. from me. You needed to find someone who had good enough English to take direction. But the main thing was that his parents let me <laughs> take him around to shoot all these scenes. Yeah, that, wow. Like, how many parents in Canada or America <laughs> would let their Yeah, you're, you're in Canada, me? right? Yeah. Yeah, so I, the, I love yeah. my son. I have three sons. Well, two of them are adults now, but our fourteen-year-old, no way, man. No that way. would not be happening. Like, hey, I want to, <laughs> I want to like put a gun in his hand. Not a real gun. We get him, yeah. get him get fake <laughs> shot at. <laughs> Pointed at people. And yeah, boy, but that's reality for these these children. It's just, yeah, so, it's, it's, it's staggering. Yeah. So I wanted to make a film that a I could try my hand at directing actors after doing just documentary and music videos yeah. um, that I could tell some of the different stories that I was seeing in real life. So it is sort of a docudrama because it's reflective of real life. It's not just an imposed story. I'm not a white guy coming in trying to impose my story on the Philippines, but I, I really wrote the story in collaboration with uh, various Filipinos and really touched on the two issues that I, I learned were very prevalent there. Yeah. One being food scarcity the other being fatherlessness. Yeah. So those end up as the two big themes of the film is like when you're a young boy and you're hungry and you don't have a father figure there to protect you, you are susceptible to gangs, to stealing, to even to rebel groups. And it wasn't until a father figure towards the end steps in on his behalf yeah. uh, 
that he that his journey kind of ends and even though he's so the basic idea of the film is that Gary's living with his father and they're living in a fishing village when something happens and there's a fire in the village yeah. and he has these questions about his mother where she's from and uh he, he he doesn't remember his mother and his father won't talk about her yeah and, but he his father in this scene gives him a picture and says she's from this valley in the north um and i'm and and he ends up dying in the fire as he's trying to help people which is very difficult to shoot on a low budget <laughs> I did the best I, could. I was wondering about that man that was a pretty spectacular sequence of events there uh at that yeah point. so we we waited till the tide went out and then we sort of built a fake village in wow. front of the original village and yeah. burned the fake village down and then added some cgi and had all the kids running around but the real challenge was I couldn't get all of the villagers on board. So occasionally you see somebody in the background just being like, what are these guys doing? <laughs> Did you include them in, in the in the shots? Yeah, well, I, there, there are there, people wandering there, around there, which would be realistic, obviously. And, yeah, I mean, most of the village was on board and were like running and, and being yeah. a part of what we were doing. But occasionally you see someone in the background who just wandered through the yeah. shot and had no <laughs> idea. <laughs> it was realistic though, man. Hey, SJ Finlay, thank you so much for, for being a guest on the Quick Play Critic Reviews and Interviews. This has been a blast. Yeah, thanks for having me, John. I really appreciate it and hope to chat again. Maybe I'll, my next movie I'd like to do is about a boxer in the slums of Uganda. Whoa, so man. Maybe I'll be back in a year or two. <laughs> so again, boy from nowhere, first time director, SJ Finlay also wrote the story uh, debuts on Amazon Prime Video Friday, February 17th. Stream it. It's a hell of a film. Thanks for watching this episode of the Quick Flick Critic Reviews and Interviews. Now I ask that you please subscribe and be notified of my continuous new episode announcements. As always, you can read all of my flick reviews on my long-running blog, The Quick Flick Critic, at this URL you now see displayed on your screen right down here. So until next time, make it a great day and make it count. Goodbye, everybody. Oh.